Good evening VC or anyone who might find themselves watching this video. Well, I'm finally back with another update. I bought a fair amount of records lately. And of course a couple of grails uh, which I want to show you. But uh, first of all, the most important thing for this video is that I received an awesome VCLT from Randy at Deadwax66. And if you're not familiar with his channel, which you should be, stop this video right now and head over to his channel and check his videos out. He shows a lot of excellent psych, garage, punk, surf music. He's a knowledgeable, very nice guy and uh, he deserves uh, your sub. I'll leave a link in the description below. As usual, before we get on to the VC, what's playing in the background is the German band Erlkönig. I'm not sure what that is in English, but this is a one album band, I believe. And they recorded and released this LP, self-titled, in 1974-73. And it was uh, pressed and released privately. So, to find an original, I think I can forget. But this is a Amber Sound Room reissue. And uh, back in the early 2000s, they did a fair amount of high quality reissues. So, definitely look for that Amber Sound Room label. Almost anything they released is worth grabbing. It even came with the uh, original style insert uh, written on a typewriter and a sort of Xerox machine uh, insert. Great stuff. And Erkönig was a typical band of its era, Cla classical influences in the uh, Prog rock music. So it's a great album if you're into that sort of uh, classically tinged um, progressive rock, I guess. Yes, on to the VCLT. As I mentioned, an awesome, awesome package. Uh, I haven't had the chance to listen to the records more than once. I don't seem to have the time these days and I don't seem to have the house to myself either so that's why I have retreated to my home office but uh, here we go anyway first off the Baroques and their only and self-titled album I'm fam I was familiar with this band but I have never heard the album and uh, my first impression is that it's uh, Good Psych album, uh, somewhat typical for its era, the US Psych, but good sounding and I really enjoyed listening to it, even though I can't speak intelligently about it after one listen, but uh, this is a Sweet Dandelion reissue, which sounds excellent, even though I think Randy mentioned it's an unofficial reissue. So, I I'm looking forward to spend some more time with that album. Next up we have an album which is simply stunning. It's uh, the Stooges' first album from 1969. And this is the Rhino reissue from a couple of years back. On 180 gram vinyl, remastered from the original master tapes. And it sounds just fantastic i'm so glad you sent me this one randy because i only had a 1980s reissue of this one from before <laughs> to be honest it didn't sound too good so i'm so pleased to have this one thank you i think i'll pass along my uh, 80s reissue to someone who for some reason don't have this album in the collection. This is a must. Nice to finally hear that, how it should uh, sound. 
Next up, we have another classic, which I have, uh, I have uh, their first album, I believe. This is the Sonics, um, and this is the album introducing the Sonics, which I believe is their second album, or if it's a compilation album, I'm not sure. But I have, uh, here are the Sonics or Meet the Sonics, I don't remember, it's ages ago since I listened to this stuff, but uh, Prima. Prima Americans, uh, Garage Rock, classics such as Psycho, Strict 9, The Witch, you can't go wrong with the Sonic. So now I have two Sonics albums in my collection. Excellent! Next up we have uh, The Inner Mystique with Chocolate Watch Band, another band I was familiar with but never heard. and. Um, I think this is supposed to be a psych classic from the US on the Tower label. This is a reissue of course, but on the Tower label. I like those kinds of reissues. Uh, just heard it once and uh, look forward to spinning this a couple more times. It sounded good. Cool. Next up we have an album uh, which Randy hinted he would send me, told me not to buy one for myself. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't because I was supposed to. It's uh, Neon Pearl. And Neon Pearl is a band kind of preceded to T2, who uh, made one album called uh, It'll All Work Out in Boomland, an excellent psych prog masterpiece from England. These are demo recordings from the late 60s and it features uh, Peter Dunton on vocals and drums and uh, Bernard Jinx on bass guitar who would later form T2. And this is an excellent compilation of uh, those demo recordings. It sounds good. <clears throat> and it's on the Acme label. And also has a nice insert with the story of Peter Dunton and uh, the band Neon Pearl. So, thank you Randy, this is excellent. Uh, I was going to get this myself, so now, now I don't have to. Thank you so much. The last album he sent me is the one I'm the most pleased to uh, receive because I have been looking for this for ages and it's uh, the damnation of Adam Blessing which I'm sure you all know I've heard this many times online been looking for it uh, out in the wild here in Norway <laughs> but it never shows up here so there's Randy for you sent me a nice copy of this one According to him, it's a second uh, pressing or issue on the United Artist label, but it plays excellent, so I'm quite, quite pleased to have this one finally in my collection. They have released a couple of other albums, but this is the one I wanted. Man, that was an awesome pile of awesome records, Randy. Uh, it's too kind. Uh, I can't express my thanks my gratitude enough and even those funky instant sticks you sent <laughs> I was quite surprised the package uh, package wasn't stopped in the customs but uh, well that scent sure uh, fits the music so thank you very much and you the others you other the the rest of you go and check his channel sorry if I'm fumbling with my words on to my recent acquisitions. <clears throat> a mixed bag of reissues and originals. I bought myself a original copy, UK copy of uh, Pink Fairies first album, Never Never Land. I'm sure you know the Pink Fairies. Members from the Deviants who teamed up with Twink, the ex-drummer of uh, Pretty Things and recorded Think Pink, and then went on to form the Pink Fairies. Twink is on this album from 1971, but left soon after. 
excellent British uh, late era psychedelia or space rock if you wish. Next up we have a Belgian prog rock band called uh, Waterloo and their only album called First Battle. This is an Absinthe Records reissue. They have released a lot of records uh, this last year and uh, I'm not sure if they're a legit reissue company or if they are semi-legit or just bootleggers but uh, their reissues sound good and to find Waterloo's first battle uh, an original of this will set you back at least a couple hundred euros so if you like a heavy sort of uh, Jethro Tull with lots of Hammond organ and uh, flute and first, first out guitars this is something for you Next up, a Japanese obscurity, uh, a quartet called uh, Powerhouse, who released one album, I think, and this is uh, just sort of a cover version album. Foxy Lady, Back in the USSR, uh, Hoochie Coochie Man, I Want to Know, Good Morning Little School Girl, Spoonful, did I say Obladi Oblada? So it's a mixed bag, sort of a garage first out psych and blues. Sounds pretty scruffy and uh, quite excellent. So check out the Japanese band Powerhouse. This is also an uh, absinthe reissue. The originals are rare as hen's teeth. Next up we have... Uh, a solo album from Peter Bardens and if you don't know Peter Bardens he was the keyboard player for Camel the famous Canterbury prog band from England uh, he released two solo albums before joining Camel and these albums do not sound at all like Camel uh, a lot more laid back not prog at all kind of a melodic uh, bluesy rock with uh, a tinge of psych here and there and these can be find, uh, found quite cheap so I really recommend uh, you check out Peter Baden's two solo albums this one is called Write My Name in the Dust from 1971 excellent uh, record And then I found a Mexican Obscurity from 1971, a band called The Survival, and the album is called La Onda de The Survival. And uh, it's sort of a garagey, psyche blues rock, and it's awesome. There are a lot of gems from uh, Mexico from that time. And you'd be hard pressed to find originals in decent shape without uh, and be able to buy them without robbing a bank but this is a nice reissue from a couple of years back on the original label Disco Rex. so if you're into that kind of uh, scruffy blue psych acid fuss rock this is an excellent piece for you great stuff from Mexico a couple of records for my Zappa collection found the German version of uh, Freak Out and Freak Out was released as a single album here in Europe I don't know if the label the record company thought that a double Zappa album was too much for the European market so they skim down tracks to one LP. So this is a nice pristine copy, original German copy of Freak Out. A bit later Zappa, apostrophe from 1974. And this is more in the prog rock land, whereas uh, Freak Out is more in the avant-garde psych land. 
This is an original UK issue on discreet with the lyrics insert. So, two nice additions to the Zappa collection. I'm not setting out to get everything by Zappa, because uh, he can be an acquired taste. But some of his albums are just excellent, excellent. The last band, the last band I want to show is an English band, and this is a grail of mine. Uh, it's an English band called Bach Denkel, and they were from uh, Birmingham. And uh, in the late 60s, uh, they moved to France uh, because they would try out their luck in uh, Paris, which was supposed to be a metropole for creativity and uh, art. So they went there and recorded their first album in 1970. It was of course shelved and wasn't released in, until 1973 by Philips. And by that time it sounded dated and didn't do anything. The album I'm talking about is uh, the wonderful late era psychedelic prog masterpiece Lemmings by Bach Denkel. And uh, the music sounds as awesome as the cover art is. Uh, Bach Denkel uh, played a lot of live shows and uh, played with such great acts as Led Zeppelin and others, but they never did an impact on the charts and never sold many records. They released one more record in 1977 called Stalingrad. And uh, about this time their producer and associated member Karel Beers uh, started a recording label called the Initial, Initial Recording Company. And then they re-released the first album by Bachtenkel. So this is a reissue from 1970 and the reason for me wanting this version is that it uh, has a bonus EP uh, inside of it with four tracks from the original recording sessions which weren't released originally on the Philips issue because it was meant as a double album but was skimmed down to a single album. Uh, sadly, I haven't uh, received the single yet, but it's on its way, so I will get it. So, this is a second issue of Bach Denkel's Lemming. You better check this one out if you like that sort of gloomy late era psychedelic sound with progressive elements. Wonderful and melodic, dark and gloomy. Just awesome, awesome, a lost masterpiece in my opinion. I also quite like the second and last album, Stalingrad. It's more mid-70s sounding, as you would expect. Uh, but it has elements of Pink Floyd and Beatles and... Uh, but Bachtenkel sounded quite unique. And they're worth your time and a listen if you haven't heard them. I think they are pretty forgotten in the history of music, but uh, deserve some attentions. attention. <laughs> now, that's all the albums I had planned to show, but I have one little piece left to show, another grail, and this time around it's a 45, which I do never show on my channel, because I don't collect them. But I couldn't leave this alone when I saw it in a shop. It's Aunt Mary's first single from their first album. And it's in pristine condition. And if the Aunt Mary albums are hard to find, well, their singles are even harder to find. Because they didn't sell singles. They were an album band. They released half a dozen singles and they are all quite scarce and uh, if you find them you never find them with the picture sleeve and this must have been shelved since uh, 1970 you never find them in this condition so I had to pay up but I couldn't leave it so a mini grail you can say 
Well, that's all I have planned to show this time around. I hope you enjoyed the showings and found something of interest. Two things I want to urge you to do, that's to check out Deadwax66, Randy's channel. Go and check him out and give him your, uh, your subscription. And definitely check out Bach Denkel's uh, first album, Lemmings. If you like this kind of music. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching and bye for now.